Good evening. Get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures. And turn in your authorized version of the scriptures. The Psalm 26. Psalm 26. Technically, this is the fifth video I have done today. So, of course, oh, I'm going to be four. Never mind, never mind. Psalm 26. Psalm 26. We will be reading the entirety of this chapter, of, excuse me, of this psalm. Psalms doesn't have chapters. Psalm 26. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. How does the Lord examine us today? How does he do that? Go to, of course, Second Chronicles chapter 13, or Second Corinthians chapter 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 5 on to verse 9. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you? Except ye be reprobates. If you are saved and born again, you know, converted of the church of the living God, you are sealed until the day of redemption. God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, the Holy Ghost and the Lord is that spirit dwells within you. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate? But I trust that you shall know that we are not reprobates. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates, as reprobates in the eyes of the world. For we can do nothing against the truth, or for the truth. Those of us who are truly saved, born again, converted of the church of the living God, we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak, and ye are strong. And this also we wish, even your perfection. That doesn't mean sinlessly perfect, because nobody today can be sinlessly perfect. But a perfect heart on toward the Lord. Perfect heart, broken, contrite spirit and heart. Those are precious in the eyes of the Lord. And how do you examine yourselves again? Huh? Through the scriptures. How does God examine us today? Through the scriptures. And a lot of you are afraid of that, aren't you? So some of you will go to one of these perversions and find something that suits your fancy. That is not the scriptures. Isn't that interesting? Hmm? Verse 3 in Psalm 26. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Are you walking in his truth? Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Walked in thy truth. And I have walked in thy truth. Are you walking according to the scriptures?
I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. We are to abhor that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. And there is none good but one. That is God, our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Of course, we got to go there. Second Corinthians chapter 6. We have to go there. We have to go there. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Verses 14 on to verse 18. Very familiar unto many of you. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Idols, such as the church buildings. For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Verses 4 and 5 again in Psalm 26. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash mine hands in innocency, so while I can pass thine altar, O Lord, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Go to Second Timothy or First Timothy. I will tell of all thy wondrous works. First Timothy chapter one. First Timothy chapter one verses nine on to verse sixteen. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which commit which was committed to my trust. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, and injurious. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Paul, before his conversion, before he was saved, he was a blasphemer and persecutor and injurious. He put those of the church of the living God in prison to be killed. He went to distant lands to persecute the church of the living God. And look at verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of whom I am chief. Verses 6 and 7 in Psalm 26. 
that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Ye are the temple of the Holy Ghost. God dwells in it within you. Any man defile the temple of God, him God will defile, or him God will destroy, excuse me. And look at that. Verse 7, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am too. Gather not my soul with sinners nor my life with bloody men in whose hand is mischief and their right hand is full of bribes. Proverbs, the very first chapter. Proverbs, the very first chapter. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 7. On to verse 19. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Job 28, 28. And, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Wisdom, the fear of the Lord, instruction, scriptures. My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy neck and chains about thy neck. Ah, excuse me. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Because remember, the devil is transformed into an angel of light, and his ministers as angels, as ministers of righteousness. The devil can make sin look so attractive, can he? If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, Walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path, for their feet run to evil. And make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And, and they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Greedy of gain. And it's not just money. What kind of gain? Applause, fame, popularity, stuff, whatever it may be. And also, too, remember, brethren, what it says in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Remember this. Remember this. Romans chapter 12. Verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, 
But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Gather not my soul with sinners in Psalm 26 again, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place in the congregation. Well, I bless the Lord. Second Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 under verse 8. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who will judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and feelings. <clears throat> and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned on to fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Go back to Psalm 26. I have not, uh, verse 4 and verse 5, I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers, vain, Meaningless. Dissemblers. Dissemble. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. And will not sit with the wicked. They say that you are the company you keep. What kind of company are you keeping? Now, some of you might say, well, Brad, I don't have anyone that I can fellowship with. Oh, really? Um, what do you think you are doing when you were reading the scriptures? Tell me something, brother, sister, church of the living God, those of you who are saved, born again and converted. Is not the author present when you read the scriptures? Do you not have fellowship with the Lord in prayer? In your daily doings? Oh, Brad, that's easy for you to say. You got a wife. Hmm. Is it? Is it easy for me to say that? You know, every one of us will give an account of himself to God, whether it be at the great white throne for those who are lost or at the judgment seat of Christ for those who are saved, born again, and converted. Each and every one of us is going to give an account of himself. There's no getting away, uh, getting away from that. We're all going to be held accountable. The saved at the judgment seat of Christ, where our works will be tried for our rewards. 
and at the great white throne of judgment for you lost people. Good luck. What kind of company are you keeping? I have a very select few brethren who I fellowship with. Very few. Very few. I have a wife, a sister, who is of the Church of the Living God, who sings hymns with me. And we go through the scriptures together. Yes. But you know, Every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. At the judgment seat of Christ, I can't hold my wife's hand, nor can she hold mine. We're all going to give a personal uh, account of ourselves unto the Lord. See, this is why self-examination is so imperative, brethren. Because, okay, never mind what's going out there, on out there. Never mind what's going on in these little things. You are going to have to give an account of yourself to God, whether you are saved or whether you are lost. And only a fool would have no fear of that. And the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. But again, they say you are the company that you keep, right? Yesterday, I was having some wonderful time of fellowship with a beloved brother. And he mentioned to me about these forums. And um, to be honest with you, brethren, I don't, I stay away from that. I am kind of kept in the loop of what goes on these forums sometimes, but I, I stay away from the forums personally. Uh, on this, what is it, the K, King James Video Ministry Forum, I actually do. There is an accountable KJV on there, but I was only on there for one day and I could not figure out how to use it. So I'm like, but I have seen. I have seen by people giving me things of on this forum. Number one, brethren, when it comes to the King James Video Ministry Forum, do any of you really think that Brother Brian Denlinger is on there at all? He might be. I don't know, but I don't really care. There are, say, brethren and sisters on that form, sure. But you have to remember, brethren, also the times in which we live and the infiltrators trying to infiltrate anything and everything. Brethren, you got to be careful about these forums. You really do. <laughs> How many people are on the forums that are actually of the Church of the Living God? Like I said, I'm sure there are some that are actually saved of the Church of the Living God on some of these forums. Then again, I would bet you odds, I would lay you great odds that those who are fake greatly outnumber those who actually are of his bones and of his flesh. And oh, Wow, I have seen, I've been given uh, snapshots and little uh, links to some of these things. And some of these people on these forums, brethren, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Now, now there again, I understand people might yearn for fellowship and all that stuff, but Brethren, do, do you not understand that we have the scriptures, okay? The living word of God. This book is alive. Our Lord speaks to you through this book. 
the scriptures. And what a fellowship. Oh, I, I treasure the fellowship that I have with the brethren. It's precious. But what about the alone time with you and the Lord? Hmm? What's more valuable to you? And, and, and from things that I have seen, show me of what goes on on some of these forums. Verse 4 in Psalm 26, I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Now, granted, when someone is playing keyboard warrior, hiding, by, hiding behind a plastic screen or a, a fancy schmancy cell phone, they can be anything they want to be. They can say anything they want to say. And since some people do just that, they... Bleh. Brethren. Take great caution when trying to add yourself onto a public forum and one that calls itself Christian as well. Christian as well. Be careful. Because like I said, I am, I am sure that, for example, on the King James Video Ministries forum, I'm sure there are saved brethren and sisters on there. Several of them uh, who are actually saved by the Church of the Living God have come even here to my channel and so on and so forth. Yes, there are truly saved people of the Church of the Living God on King James Video Ministries forum. But as I was talking with a brother last night about this, um, he had mentioned something about how he wanted to do something on this. And brother, if you ever see this, didn't mean to do this and take something away from you. I'm sorry. Um, I looked into it and it's, wow. 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 And you got to remember, brethren, King James Video Ministries Forum is not the only one. There are others out there. And the devils have infiltrated that as well. And plus two, the arguments that I have seen on these things. I would not, you know, things that I have been sent, the battles that happen. Does it really edify you? Does it really edify you? Again, they say you are the company that you keep. Are you of the church of the living God and also having fellowship with devils? Do you get along buddy-buddy with the lost? Can you not discern the sign of the times? You know, brethren, those of us who are saved, we are not alone, even though it might be only you sitting there watching this, but you are not alone. Oh, in the physical sense, sure. But you have the Lord within you. Doesn't that come for something? Be cautious unto what you join yourself onto, brethren. Because there are several of us recently have learned some very valuable lessons. And thing and steps have to be taken 
in order to ensure that things that have happened do not happen again. Sad. So it's, it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. But this is the sign of the times, brethren. It's not going to be this big outpouring and returning to truth. No. No. We're going to be set apart by the enemy. going to be isolated by the enemy. And we, as a church of the living God, with the times that we are seeing right now, it would do us well to withdraw ourselves as best we could and to examine ourselves in the scriptures and to put those things away that are not pleasing in the sight of our Lord. Be careful. Hey! Be careful. Unto what you give yourself over unto and unto whom you join yourself on. Because those of us who are truly saved are very, very few. We are outnumbered greatly. And it's gotten to the point nowadays where anyone who just merely says the name Jesus Christ, oh, they're a Christian. They are if they say they are, right? You know, fellowship ought to have some semblance on the scriptures in one way or another. In fellowship with, uh, for example, with my beloved brother and best friend, Alexander Hartley, we, we talk, yes, but you know what? One way or another, in every conversation with almost without exception, the scriptures come up without almost without exception in one way or another our lord jesus christ god our father and his word the scriptures ought to be the binding thing of fellowship one with another because we all are of the same mind we all have the same spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ, God, our Father, living within us. And though we may have disagreements on certain things, we still have the same mind. And fakes can fake that for a while. Give them time. They always shoot themselves in the foot, one way or another. And brethren, if you're joined, if you have joined yourself onto one of these forums, and it's nothing but debates, and arguments, and yeah, buts, yeah, but, well, you're wrong, and insults, and persecuting. Maybe it might be time for you to disassociate yourself from such. And examine yourself in the scriptures. As we have been doing. Oh boy. As you ought to be doing. Just a very quick video to finish up the day. Been working all day. <laughs> it's now 5.32 and uh, I started today and the sun was out. 
No, the sun is not out. So <laughs> that's going to be it for this video. Just a very quick exhortation. Thank you. Every single one of you. And those of you, you know who you are. Praise the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy and death forever. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.